So what you want to do before applying any kind of eyeshadow on your eyes, you want to apply a base so that it'll stick a lot better to your eyes and it will last a lot longer. Then I'm going to put this light peach eyeshadow in my crease as my transition color. Using a smaller brush that's more stiff, I'm going to go into this dark brown color and pop that right into my crease. Then I'm going to go back into my soft dome brush by Makeup Geek and just blend everything together. And guys, I love this brush. You need it. As you can see, I applied a piece of tape to the side of my eyes just so that it can give our eyeshadow a more defined angled look. Now I'm taking this beautiful plum shade and I'm popping that into my outer V. And because we added the tape, it'll make it a lot easier so you can be as messy as you want as long as the tape is there. Next, I'm using this glitter glue to apply it on my lid where I'm going to apply the loose pigment. And if you don't have a glitter glue, you can always use any sort of setting spray such as Fix Plus or the Urban Decay one and that would work too. Here I'm using a flat synthetic brush to apply the loose pigment because it helps reduce fallout as opposed to using a fluffier brush. Also if you can, be sure to apply your foundation after you do your eye makeup because there will be a lot of fallout. Now I'm going back into that plum shade and just applying that color to our outer V a little more since we lost a bit of it when applying our glitter. Then going back into peach smoothie, we're going to use that to help blend out the look a little more. Then we're going in with my favorite NYC eyeliner and I'm just going to wing it out. To define my eyes a little more, I'm going to apply this cold eyeliner to my top and my bottom waterline. Using Makeup Geek's pencil brush, I'm going to apply the plum color to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Cocoa Bear and apply that on top of the plum color just to smudge it out with the same brush. Then I'm going to use Peach Smoothie and a fluffier brush and blend out the harsh edges. With Shimmer Shimmer, I'm going to use it as my highlight on my brow bone as well as my inner corners. Then I'm going to curl my lashes to prepare myself for false lashes and here I'm using House of Lashes Noir Fairy which are so beautiful guys. As always, you want to blend your real and fake lashes together, so I'm applying eyeliner to the band of the lashes, and then I'm going to apply my mascara on my lower lash line, and that will complete the eye makeup. 
Onto the face, I'm going to apply concealer to the highest points of my face. So under my eye area, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and on my chin. Here I'm using a damp beauty blender to blend everything together. And guys, I really recommend beauty blenders. They make foundation and concealer so much easier to apply. Then I'm going to set my concealer with this face powder. After concealer, I always like to apply my bronzer and my blush. And don't forget to bronze up your jawline, your temples, and your cheekbones, as well as your nose if you do need it. Then using the same brush I applied my powder with, I'm just going to blend out the contour on the nose. I'm going to use Shimmer Shimmer as my highlight because guys this shade is so beautiful and so versatile and I definitely recommend this color. I decided to go for a red lip for this look to make it more dramatic and just fun and perfect for a night out. So I'm first using this Rimmel lip liner which is called Ravish and right on top of that I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Berlin. And guys, I can't rave enough about that product. It's the best lip product I've ever owned. It's just so smooth to put on and it lasts all night because it stains your lips. And uh, I can't rave about it enough. You just gotta try it yourself. So this is the final look. I hope you really enjoyed it. As always, I had so much fun doing it. I love doing makeup, you know, it's my passion. And it was actually my first time working with a pigment. Also, I really love this pigment. I recommend it. It's called Utopia by Makeup Geek. And you can find it on her website, so I'll link that down below. As always, if you have any other requests for me, just leave it in the comments. I always read them and I always comment back to you guys. Always don't forget to thumbs up this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love I'll link it down below. And if you have any other requests,